In this video, we're going to look at how to do transcription from translation using Google Doc. So go to Google Drive in your Google account and click to a new document. So a Google document, create a new document, and here is a Google new document. Now what you want to do is go to Tools, and if you're going to now do a transcription using the audio, then you can use this uh, voice typing tool. Voice typing tool is a very useful tool. What I want to show here today is how do you use this tool to transcribe in the Malay language. And here I'm going to use this uh, drop down menu above the microphone and choose Bahasa Melayu which is uh, the Malay language and quite similar to uh, Bahasa Malaysia. So once you are ready, now you can commence your transcription. So here, what I'm going to do is the moment you click the button, you can then narrate in the language for it to transcribe in Bahasa Malaysia. So I am now going to speak in Bahasa Malaysia and you can see live transcription occurring. Saya dijemput, saya dijemput ke pusat perubatan uh, di kawasan saya untuk membuat satu bertemu duga dengan pakar perubatan. Dia panggil saya oleh sebab saya ada satu penyakit yang bukan begitu uh, ramai pesakit di kawasan saya mengedapi. Dengan saya melawat pakar perubatan itu, dia memberitahu saya penyakit saya ialah sangat-sangat uh, teruk dan saya mungkin akan uh, diperlu makan ubat sampai mati. Dengan uh, berita itu, saya pun merasa sangat kecewa dan lepas itu bila saya balik rumah, saya rasa kecewa dan duka cita. Dengan itu, uh, keluarga saya pun merasa sangat duka cita dan dia semua dia nak pergi jumpa doktor dan dapat lebih maklumat. Itulah cerita saya. So, once you have uh, finished recording, here is the transcription. So, what I want to do is I want to take this uh, transcription in the Bahasa Melayu and I want to now convert it to English. So I go to the tools bar, I click on the tools bar, I go on to translate document, and here's the document. I'm going to give it a title. I'll just put trans1 and change the language to English. So we want to get this in English, and uh, so we will choose English, and then press translate, and give it a second. It is good that you remain on LAN cable and good internet connection for this to occur. So, here is that. It is not 100% accurate, but you can see that it is pretty accurate. You can now listen to the voice file again and start editing the transcript. And this is the way to do transcription and translation. I hope you found that useful.